you know where Ballinor is, Matty? Beautiful spot. Beautiful. Hey, up there. Up is that near up near Byron Bay? Byron Bay. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Byron Bay. Yep. Oh, yeah. I Great like Byron spot. Bay as well. Okay, yep. so let me just get a number here. Don't know if work. I could work up there. I wouldn't work. I don't think. I'd be on holidays <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Mate, nobody does. <laughs> I'd, be the, I'd be the same. Okay. It's, uh, it's Gay. She's from Ballinor. And uh, she has an agency, but we'll find out a little bit about her. She's not anonymous. Hello. Hello there. Is that Gay? It is Gay. Gay, yeah. good morning. It's Claudio and Matt LaHood here from The Mentors. How are you? Very well, thank you. Yourself? Really well, thanks. Gay really well. Mason, how are you? Long time no speak. <laughs> thank you, Matt. How are you? Very well, thanks. Okay, Gay and I go, used to can... work together years ago. Oh, really? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, you guys yeah. can have a coffee later. We've got, we've, got a, we've got a program to get on to. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so Gay, tell us a little bit about yourself. So uh, the listeners know you're from Ballina. Um, tell us a little bit about yes. your marketplace and your business. So I have always worked for other agents for many years and just last July went out on my own uh, and started my own business. Good on you. So working my agency from home. A little bit different in that people don't come into my office. I generally go out to them. So just work quite a, a large distance from Ballina, Lismore, Byron Bay, all the way up almost to Beautiful Tweedhead. part so of the world, Quite going. a large area, yeah. Fantastic. Uh, and and um, uh, h- how many sales you do each year? Being Obviously, you're quite new since July, but has your business been going since you started? Well, I have to say, I my background is property management, so... Uh, sales is fairly new to me. However, um, the three listings I've had since Christmas have all been sold. Well done. And I've just listed another one uh, which goes live, will go live Monday. And today I've got two more listing appointments. So uh, mm-hmm. sales are looking okay. Well, <laughs> and Gay, um, when we, you and I used to work together, you were exceptional at property management. So I, I know how good you are at that. And obviously, the back end of the business you were solid at to the. Um, accounting side of it and that which is so you've got a bit of an unfair advantage I guess to knowing <laughs> how to how to run both sides of the business now yes yeah I do I do have that I must admit um and I am doing property management plus holiday management so I'm a bit of a glut for punishment <laughs> and that I'm doing it all <laughs> you sounds like you are you're on call 24 exactly. 7 holiday leadings eh yeah <laughs> And, yes, cu- and kudos exactly. to you, Gay, in terms of opening up your own business because, you know, I, I always take my hat off to someone who goes out there and, uh, you know, has a crack. To me, like you're a bit of rare air in the, in the marketplace to do that because a lot of people dwell, think and ponder and think about doing it. And, you know what, good for you taking the risk and doing it. So, Gay, you are on the mentors and it's all about you asking the pressing question. So, shoot Matt and I up. Okay, so... In our area, there's been quite a few changes with a number of agencies, in the, especially in the Byron area. And so my question to you guys is how do I attract um, good sales agents, especially considering that we've got a fairly top high-end agency in Byron that's just gone into liquidation? They had uh, a number of staff, 40-some staff, and a lot, about 30 prestige properties that were on the market for sale, which are now obviously going begging. So how do we attract agents to um, to the agency to get them to come work with us and then get those listings? Well, um, Gay, I'll kick off with that one. You, Clouds, you can follow through. I would say, first of all, Gay, do you, do you have a... Do you have an offering that, that, like, what do you offer to anyone that potentially would be joining? You don't need to tell us that today, but do you have an offering? What does it look like? Um, you know, if somebody did join you versus joining XYZ Real Estate up the road, like, what is your point of difference? Yeah. It's a bit like, um, you know, when you go to list somebody's property and you're going to manage it, you, Gay Mason would have a point of difference on that. You'd have a point of difference if you're going to sell it, what you're going to do for the owner. Do you have a point of difference of people that's going to come and work with you? Because that's where the attraction is. It's about if I went to Gay, what do I get? Is it, um, you know, is it networking? Is it branding? Is it management? Is it leadership? Is it So you've got to pick what your skills are and because yep. it, it, then actually know what it is. I, I sit with a lot of agents and the first question I ask them, you probably remember the days when I used to do this, Gay. <laughs> I sit with them. The first question I ask is why should I list my house with you? You'd be really surprised the people that can't actually answer that question. Yeah. Um, uh, 
I'm not. Yeah, okay. You, you know, so like I'm going to say if I I'm not going to put you on the spot on on um, live yeah. on on the recording, but if I said to you, okay, tell us why we should why why an agent should come and work with Gay Mason, the top five reasons. Now, if you can articulate that, well, you've got a serious position to attract people in. It's no point just calling them up and say, hey, would you like to have a coffee and come and work with me if you don't have a point of difference. Now, you need to develop that. It's easy to do. Mm. Um, you know, it's usually – it's got to be something genuine it, it, you know, might, that, that can actually help them, you know, get their career going. And with the owners that those properties are bounced off for the other agencies sitting on the markets, what can you do for me, Gay Mason, that I should list my property with you now I've just crashed in another real estate. What have you got? What network you got? Can you expose my buyers, like sort of outside of Byron, whatever it may be? I don't know what the, the selling points are for Byron, but I'm assuming attracting out of area agents would be, you'd need a strategy around that if you were selling in Byron. Um, so I'm sure you've got that around the tenants. Um, so yeah, look, the, that, does that make sense? It does make sense. Makes it very difficult, but it makes sense. <laughs> and, and and I think this is what you've got to do, Gabe, because a task. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's good because if you're going to grow and you do want to attract those agents, yep. you've got to add value because it's all about adding value today, right? If if people can't yeah. see value, they're going somewhere else. Yeah. What happens, guys? It's pretty simple. The way I try and um, use the analogy of is if you had two big pens, right? And I'm going, and if for example, let's just say someone was listing the home for sale, and one was three dollars. And the other same big pen was one dollar. I'm just going to go for the cheaper one, correct? So, but if I had a Mont Blanc and I had a big pen, I can see the difference why I'm paying so much more for the Mont Blanc versus the big pen. Does that make sense? Because yep. the Mont Blanc offers prestige. It's been around for over a hundred years. I, I know the value of the Mont Blanc. It, it, it stands for something. So the question is, what do you stand for in your marketplace, and why would I want to come and work with you? Okay, and like Matt said, once you articulate it, and you may need to go away over the weekend and just jot some points down, like some real points as to what is my point of difference versus some of the local agencies in the area, and I would want to come and work for for Gay Mason. So that's that's what I would actually um, start off with. What what Matt said, and then again the same thing as he said with the listings that are on the market there now. I don't know if they're they're still on or they might be expired or whatever it may happen. Go. If you do there, the same thing is uh, you don't need a thousand degrees of separation, but I probably say keep it simple and just know your two degrees of separation. So I know when I work with an agent on a one-on-one -on -one level, one thing that I do in their listing presentation is why you and why the company. And if you can't come up with two degrees of separation, that means to me, I'm just going to go with the cheapest agent and the one who's got the lowest marketing. But if I'm able to articulate and demonstrate to that client my two degrees of separation, that will help them achieve top dollar for their home, then I'm going to go, aha, now I'm understanding why I'm playing the extra 0.5% on that commission versus everyone else, okay? So, Gay, uh, okay, yeah. a good example with those houses that have been on the market, just had a flashback to when I was 17 oh. and I started selling real estate. Um, that was only and, five years ago, right? Yeah, <laughs> like, like, try, try, try 35 years ago. <laughs> but just put a three in front of the five. Like me, yeah, no, exactly. Don't worry about it. But um, I thought there was 163 salespeople in Ramwick when I started, right? I was doing property management and then doing sales on the weekend, like doing opens. And I thought, how am I going to stand out? I'm a pimply head kid. I've got no experience, no idea. I looked at what everyone else was doing and, I, and then I completely thought, you know what? I'm going to do the opposite. So... Gay, if you went to those owners that were on the market and that, that have crashed and out, you'd just – one small thing you could say, right, I'm Gay Mason, I handle everything myself, I'm not going to palm it to anybody else, I'm going to open your property seven days a week, I'm available seven days a week, you'd, you'd say it like that, and I'm going to actually be at, at call to show it to any time you like, I'll do opens on Sunday if I need to, mm -hmm. and I'm going to open it each time for an hour when I've got the buyers there and I'm going to attract buyers outside of an area with the strategy of connecting – to some um, some agents in Sydney and Melbourne that I'll, I'll that I've got in my group. So you'd build a group. So you'd know people um, in Sydney, Melbourne. So that's all of a sudden for someone like you. Instead of saying, "Oh, it sounds hard. I'm not sure." There's just two things you could do that are, that are transparent, honest, and real that would automatically set you apart from probably everyone in your area. Would I be right? Yes. And yes. I, and you I don't are know right. your area. And, so and that's pretty much what I do already. Is, yep. And that's how I have been getting the sales 
and getting the management that I'm getting is because I am a bit different in that I am available 24-7. Yep. I do go to their place. It doesn't matter how far I have to travel. It doesn't matter how many times I have to go to them. I will go to them and they, so they're not having to come to me. They're not having to go anywhere. So there you go. You've already, got, really yeah. you've already got a point of difference. Now you've just got to work on one to attract agents. Correct. What, what, an agent comes yeah. and works with you. What's going to be different to working with, you know, X, Y, Z up the road, you know? Exactly, yeah. exactly. And and okay. let me ask you this, Gay, um, because we've got also our third mentor here, Clinton, and, you know, he's very big on social media from sprinkler.media. So um, what what are you doing on a social media front at the moment? And, and, and also I want to ask Clinton, like, what could she be doing with her social media to possibly – attract agents to her brand and her offer? I'm not doing very much at all. In fact, uh, I post very little, but I, when I do post, it's only on my personal um, my personal page. I don't have a business page at this stage on Facebook and I really haven't been doing anything else. So, um, yeah, when you're by yourself, it's a little yeah. bit more difficult. <laughs> yeah, well, it is a bit of a challenge, definitely. I, um, I started my business a year and a half ago, so when I started out, it was me on my own. Um, and I knew social media was going to be something that was going to help me amplify and reach more people. So I literally started in my garage with a Facebook account and um, started telling some stories around how I got to this point, what my point of difference was, uh, point of difference was uh, what sort of things I'm passionate about, um, and really just trying to drop value. And that's now led to a point where a year and a half later, we're doing 40 videos a month. Um, I post every single day across Facebook and Instagram. And the the influence that we're getting is like putting us in a very good position. So I'm now at a point where I need to go and hire another editor for the business. And the first thing I'm going to do when I go to do that is I'm going to start to put together the story, like the content of here's what we've done in the last year and a half. Mm. And um, <clears throat> through that, we can actually show you what it's like to work with Sprinkler Media. Yeah. Not just tell you, but show you. The journey. 100%. And it, yeah. it's, it's documentation. So Love that. So my biggest suggestion to you, like you might not be able to do it right now, but think six months, 12 months down the track. What kind of things could you be documenting along the way? You're not creating something. You're just documenting it that shows that point of difference, that shows people what you're all about, mm. uh, which shows what it's like on a daily basis to, you know, to go and list properties and sell properties. Um, so when it comes to that point in time, you've already got the information. People already trust you. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Clinton just reminded me, last two people I saw that started in the garage was Steve Jobs and, um, and hang on, wasn't it Jeff Bezos from Amazon? Yes, 100%. I'm excited. I'm maybe sitting I next. should photograph my office. Uh, maybe we'll do a podcast from the garage next time. Oh. What do you reckon, Gay? Uh, you could be talking to somebody. Uh, I'd record this and keep it yourself. You just never know. You, you just never, know. never know. You never know. Well, it's not quite a garage, but it is under the house. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the other thing I was going to say too is um, if you want to attract people from different areas, like say, for example, you're going to bring an agent in that's not um, necessarily based in Ballina or Byron, um, then yeah. like Facebook's probably a good place to actually advertise for it. You might also do the job sites and things like that or you might, you know, go out um, to your referral network or however it may be. Um, I know for myself right now when it comes to trying to attract the talent, um, it's quite specific. Like I know I need an editor that does X, Y and Z. Um, therefore, I'm going to put out an ad with... Uh, you know, this Facebook piece of content that is directly targeting people that do or have an interest in editing. And you can do that. You can right. absolutely do it. So with Facebook advertising, you can be quite specific about the sorts of interests that people have, um, the demographics, uh, where they're located, um, and it's going to be quite effective in that sense, especially if it was a video. Um, here's the other thing too. I think um, a day in the life with you would be a very good insight into uh, what it's like to come and work for you. So you might want to actually create a piece of content that is across maybe a month that's like a day in the life with, with, with Gay. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's a great okay. idea. That's a great idea, Clinton. Cool. Oh, my goodness. A day in the life with Gay. You want a trip right. to Ballina, Clinton? <laughs> 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 Funnily enough, I'm actually up there at the end of the month. I think he's trying to get himself a trip up to Ballina and Byron, Gay. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm actually going to be there. I have to take out of my I, I know he goes up <laughs> there quite that's, often. That's you might have to go and buy him a beer when he goes up there <laughs> next time. <laughs> <laughs> so, Gay, I hope that has given you some sort of insight into your question today. 
and it has. It has wonderful, and that's and that's and we're we're really appreciative that you've come onto the mentor show today. And um, look, we'll we'll certainly uh, love to hear your journey and how you are growing your business because it means the world to us to know that uh, you know from where you are now and 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 you're making progress uh, in your business from attracting agents, building more managements, and making and doing more sales and listings in your area. Okay, so uh, keep in touch. Let us know how it all goes. And uh, thanks for joining us here today. Thank you very much. I will use that information and good. keep growing. Good yeah, to keep, talk to you, Guy. Good on you. Keep growing, Guy. Thank yep. you so much. Good to talk to you too. Enjoy Thank the product. You. Bye. Bye. Yeah, bye. Wow, Maddie, that's uh, interesting, hey? That like, was great. I'm glad you got something out of that. Yeah, exactly. Really good, Clinton, too. That's, that information's powerful, what you're saying, because um, you think about... It's all right telling people about how you how you will be. You know, it's good to see a day in the life. I think it's a really good strategy. Yeah, yeah, a- absolutely. Yeah. I think that's that's huge. I think that's really really huge. Just to capture like What's what like she does. To work with us. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. I know one guy. He'll do a, a a photo of the office and all the agents are on the phone, and he'll take a photo of the the whole team and saying it's call back Monday. We're calling all our buyers. Okay. You know, etc. So then people who I don't know. You know, say if I was a a buyer. And I know, I've, I know some buyers and a lot of buyers say to me, oh, I never get a call from the agent from the weekend. Hmm. Now, imagine if I was thinking of selling, I've been looking at buying, I didn't get a buy from a call, then I'd get to see, a, uh, say, an Instagram post or a yeah. Facebook post and going, it's call back Monday here at, let's just call it the agency. So you know, that's massive. That can be quite big and powerful, mm, yeah. you know. So social media is the way to go. Well, the, the thing is too, you don't have to – you don't have to um, to go and spend a lot of money these days to do it. Like, yep. no, you if don't. you wanted to do video yeah. production, what, like five, ten years ago, it cost a fortune. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Like now, you just get your mobile phone out yeah, and post it straight up. Yeah, no, like, so true. Wow, what a morning! Good morning. <laughs>